Hey everybody, Ryan. My name is Ryan from the Gamers of Serenity. And hello, welcome to a new video. Today we are talking about my digital escape and all the drama that is starting to boil right now. So this is what happened. The legal rights for my digital escape have been bought out, uh, either bought or or sold. Someone, someone, le Brian Stars legally has the rights to this channel. And only him. Any person affiliated with the channel before is no longer affiliated with it at all, legally or you know, or even just physically. Like like no one's posting to that channel. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, the original cast is done. The uh, the well, I mean, but you got to realize though is that my digital escape had like three cast changes or some shit. No, they, I think they only had one, which was Austin Jones, and then he got replaced by Jaden Whale. So there were seven people on that channel. There was Brian Stars, Johnny Gilbert, Alex Dormain, or I can't pronounce her last name. I do apologize, Alex, if you ever watch this video. Um, hey there, I'm Shannon. Jaden Whale. Who else? Was that seven? Kyle David Hall. There we go. Sorry. Um, that was seven. Okay, so... So basically, everyone's pissed off because Brian Stars yeah, got rounded up a crew of new people. In two days from now, they are going to be making a new video. Um, uh, basically, all I'm going to really do is watch that video just to see who's a part of the channel. Um, I do have a theory that Social Repose may be part of the channel, which is kind of shitty because it's like... You know, Social Repose is kind of one of those guys who they had on as a guest instead of having, um, instead of just being a part of the channel. But if he's part of the channel now, that's not good because, um, because, you know, he's burning a lot of bridges. And I, I think he kind of likes burning bridges, though. I mean, you know, and, uh, just to clarify, I mean, Brian does do a lot of things for money. And it's starting to show. Um, because look at the videos he kind of used to make when my, my Digital Escape was around. Now look at the stuff he does now. He does top 10 like facts about Black Veil Brides. And he's kind of, you know, he's not doing it. He's not doing anything creatively. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's like he's doing top 10 lists, factual stuff. And that, I'm not going to lie, that does get you views because it's very informative. Um... And uh, and then if any of you jerks out there, for some reason or another, try to uh, call me a hypocrite and say, dude, you make top fives for zombies, it's like, that's a fucking video game, okay? <laughs> and I'm a gaming channel, so chill. <laughs> so, um, I don't know why anyone would question me, because I'm super small, not no one's probably going to watch this video, but we'll see. Um... What's going on is very bullshit and very wrong. They should have left the channel alone. No one should have touched it. Because that channel has been worked on by, yes, Brian, and Kyle, Shannon, Alex, Jaden, Jordan, you know, all of those people. And, you know, they're hurt. They're pissed off. They have every right to be pissed off. But the legality of the whole situation, and I have no idea, because if you guys know of the situation by now, you probably watched Sound Like Harmony's video, Tyler's video. Um, I don't know what the hell he's going on about, about uh, copyright shit. The thing is, is that if they buy the rights to that channel, they have the rights to every video that's ever been posted to that channel, okay? So... Like, that's legal, because according to Alex, legally, they can't do shit. Legally, Brian has every right to that channel. And I'm assuming, I, I could be wrong, I'm assuming that includes every right. So, like, everyone, everyone's getting screwed over, except for Brian. You know, he's going to restart this thing. He's going to have, you know, a, a, lot of pe a lot of fans are very loyal to that guy. Because, you know, they think he's funny, they think he's a good guy, when in reality... You know, he's t his ego got too big, and he, he turned into a sleaze bag because that is the one rule when it comes to YouTube. Yes, it may become your job. Yes, you may get super famous, 
but you got to love what you're doing because people can see when you don't like what you're doing. There's a reason why I, I unsubscribed to Brian Stars, okay? Because when he was doing interviews, and trust me, I watched him from when he was a very small channel. When he was doing interviews, he loved what he was doing, okay? He was barely making any money when he was interviewing Black Veil Brides, Asking Alexandria. You know, those two bands were my fa my favorite interviews will come always come from that video. And I will rewatch those videos all the time because, you know what, Ryan did a good job. And you know what, and the band, they were there just hanging out and just having fun. And that wasn't really an interview, but it was fun as shit, you know. And, you know, jokes, you know, like, like Brian, I don't know what happened to you, man, but you, you fucking got a big ego. And, you know what, I'm going to say this right now, if any of the previous MDE members want to join my collab channel, I'm down to have you on, okay? Dude, like, we're so good. Like, two, like, fucking two subscribers, hello. So anyways, um, yeah, so that's what's going down with my digital escape. They, they need to haunt, they, they, we, like, they need to seriously, uh, they can't do anything, and I really feel for you guys, and I'm just bringing this to people's attention, and I am going to say that, you know, um, don't listen to Brian Saras when he tells you that he loves you, um, because he, he, he only, he only cares about making money, and here's the thing, though, this is why this is turning into a thing, I'm a YouTuber, and I know how this shit goes, the biggest struggle when it comes to YouTube especially when you're not making money, is motivation. This is not that hard of a job to have. I'm not going to lie. It's not that hard to sit down and make a video. It is hard to sit down and make a good video, but when this is your job and a lot of people just support you because they like you, you know, you can get away with making a lot of shitty videos. That's kind of what Brian did. You know, challenge videos aren't really the hardest thing in the world because, you know, you go out, you, you buy something for the challenge video, you sit down, you flip on a camera, you look kind of nice, and then you do it, and is it even that funny? No, like, I, I don't watch challenge videos because they're not that funny. So, I'm going to have a second video coming out about uh, McJugger Nuggets uh, later. This is going up right now, so um, that's really all I have to say. Um... And my point about the challenge video is that Ryan, Ryan, my name's Ryan, Brian Stars, he doesn't care about his fans anymore. Okay? Look at when, n never shout never, yes, that is the band. Look at when Christopher Drew gave Brian so much shit for, you know, asking funny questions. Yes, that was a dark time in... Chris's, Chris's life, okay? I'm not saying that Chris is a bad person, but Chris did, in some f uh, forms, bully Brian, and Brian did get very upset. It wasn't because of his ego. is because he dissed his fans. Christopher Drew basically said, you know, your show is bullshit, and Brian was crying, and he was very passionate about his show, his Brian Stars interview show, and he showed that he really did care about us as the fans. He wanted to bring us a funny, fun interview. And it just didn't go that way. That Brian is now gone. You know, the dude's got damn near close. If not, I haven't checked because I don't watch his channel. You know, he's got somewhere close to a million subscribers if he hasn't broke it already. And it's all about, you know, just him making money and him having an easy job in life. Because, you know, the world is unfair because people can, you know turn making videos into a job but you know at, at least you got a job and you know you're making good money and you know it's easy but you got to have a passion for this okay and brian lost his passion and you know what he may disagree right he may say i never lost my passion dude your passion is fueled by money that's the problem it's not fueled by making people happy and that's why a lot of you, you know, I got some YouTube friends who are just like, man, I just want to make it big. It's like, it's like, you know what, man? It's like, I don't just want to make it big. I want to make people fucking happy. You know, I want to, I'm sitting here, 70 subscribers, no one watches my videos, and I'm just here to just have fun. I don't care if people watch my videos. It would be nice, 
but I don't care. And you know what? You know, New Gem did a really good thing. It didn't get him a lot of subscribers. He just posted whatever he wanted to. Okay. And when it came, when he lost the drive, he just left. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't think my drive is for this is ever gonna go away, for until it goes away. Like if I feel like I don't need to do this anymore, then I will stop. But in the meantime, hope you guys hear me out. And you know what, money isn't everything. Okay. So if you do decide to just subscribe to my channel. I promise I'm not here for the, to make money. If I can turn this into my job, I will. But my final statement is going to be I am here to stay for a very long time. I don't care about making money from this. I only care about spreading a good message. And this whole My Digital Escape thing, you know, this gives, you know, like, like it's just, it's kind of upsetting to see that Brian, uh, you know, he re he really, like, only does this for money, and it's kind of sad, so that's all I have to say. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.